For this video, I am trying toilet tower defense for the very first time. I'm gonna be a complete noob and turn to an absolute pro within 100 hours. This is a compilation of all the noob to pro videos. Since this is three videos in one, I'll be giving out a unit to three of my subscribers throughout the video. So make sure to watch all the way through to see if you won. Only 2% of y'all are subscribed, so make sure to like and subscribe for good luck in getting godly units. Let's get straight into the video. Is toilet city the first place to go? I'm just gonna go in. Easy, medium, hard, or nightmare? Uh, let's just do easy. I've never played this game before, so all I have are these basic speaker mans. So let's hopefully see if they can clutch us up. Oh my god, there's little baby toilets everywhere. My speaker man is just smacking the crap out of these toilets. This is an easy challenge up until wave 20 where the boss showed up. <gasps> what the? A boss toilet? He looks just like me. Ignore the large toilets. We have to take the boss. Oh gosh. I'm about to sell these and place them down somewhere else. Oh no. We're not doing enough damage. Focus up. Lock in. Lock in. After doing a lot of selling, I was finally able to defeat the boss toilet. He's so low. I think we got him right here. Oh, let's go. But we got 50 coins. Let's go to the lobby and see what we can do with it. As it turns out, you need 100 to summon a unit, and I only have 50. We breeze so easily through the waves, even the boss toilet was no match for my cameraman. <laughs> All right, I have 100 coins. Let's do a summon. Camera woman. Is that good or no? As it turns out, the camera woman is a basic unit. So what I decided to do was go into another easy mode and defeat the boss. Goodbye, boss toilet. It was nice knowing you. And then we did it again to get 100 coins to summon another unit. Are you guys ready? Let's do it! Car speaker man. That doesn't sound good. It's time to go to toilet city and try medium mode. All right, let's try the car speaker man. He's on a toilet. What does he do? Whoa, he attacks so slow. Oh no. Oh God. I don't know if I should have done medium. This is too hard. <gasps> No, he's gonna get through. 10 damage. Oh my god, this is awful. There's no way I'm winning this. Somebody, please save me from the toilets. No, 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 no. No! Stop! The toilets absolutely dominated me. I lost pretty quickly in wave 9. So I had to go back in easy mode so I can get better units to go up to medium again. Here we go, guys. Over or under 30 seconds it will take to defeat this boss. I'm going under 30, guys. Let's do it. Look at that absolutely destroyed where's my money at boys i got it right boom please be something good please be something good please be something good please no i decided to try my luck with trading units and it didn't go too well but this guy generously offered to help me with the levels so we decided to play together what are these Spear Speaker Man. These guys are crazy. And with this, I'll become an absolute master. Hold on, I need to ask this guy a question. I don't know how this works. I'm not sure if I'm like wasting his money as well. It's separate. <laughs> Whoa. Speaker Large TV Man. He looks insane. What is that damage? He is so OP. He was so OP that easy mode was literally nothing to us. The boss was annihilated, so we decided to move on to medium mode. Dang, we have a really good solid defense right now. It's a great wall here. Nothing's getting past us. Not the dual claw toilet. Got him. Oh no, there's a spider toilet. Save us. Let's go, dude. Nothing's stopping us now. It's what they call too free. Look at this bird's eye view. He's got all of these spearmen in the back. Two large TV men right here. And then I got all my defenses right here. I can place it. Oh, this is a good spot. I can just place it anywhere I want. The toilets are everywhere. There's so many. The difference between easy and medium is crazy. Yo, he's making him sleep. All right, I've maxed out my towers. So all I can do now is just wait and see how we do. They're just dying to static electricity. God dang, they just get erased. You gotta hold it. Hold the line. Ah, who is this? Minigun toilet. Oh my God. He just shot our towers. Well, why does the shooting put them to sleep? That's so weird. Parasite toilet. What the heck? Why does he have so much health? How do I, what do I do against that? We should be able to deal with him though, right? Yes, we got him. Boss toilet? He's not even the real boss. That's the easy mode boss. Holy. Vacuum toilet, what is that? He's fast. Oh gosh, he has so much health. What is he doing? 
Oh no, he's eating my towers. This thing is crazy. This one's harder than the boss. We, dang it, we didn't get him. Oh my gosh, how much damage is it gonna be? Oh! 300 damage. At least it didn't end us. That was only wave 15. That was way too hard. Oh my gosh, there's endless waves coming through. How is this medium? How is this medium? How? Gosh, they're getting mowed down by these large TV speaker men. Oh, here are the big boys. Gosh. I don't do enough damage. Perish, boss. The large TV men will destroy you. I'll stop you myself. He looks just like me. What if that's me as a toilet? What if I become the boss toilet? This is the future me. Anyways, let's beat medium mode already. Come at us, toilets. There's just endless waves. I can't imagine the hard and nightmare mode. There's no way I can do that. Not now, at least. Later down the line, I will be a complete pro. A master at, at the toilet tower defense. Obviously, I'm just a complete noob right now. I'm only using kit speaker man and camera woman. But eventually, I will train hard enough and destroy every toilet that comes across my path. I have almost 10k dollars, but I have nothing to spend it on. I've maxed out all my towers with upgrades, and I've put down all 15 towers as well. That is insane damage coming from the large TV man. Wave 20, we only have 10 more rounds to go. Is that- No! The vacuum toilet, there's two of them! They give us so much trouble last time, if we don't kill them, we lose! Oh my gosh, I have to sell these. I have to do whatever I can. Come on. Oh my gosh, we did it. Jetpack police toilet? He's so fast! Stop him! Someone stop him! You're under citizen's arrest. Yes. What is that? What the heck is a mutant toilet? He's like a person. He's so huge. Oh my god. No matter. It's too easy. Oh my gosh, wave 29. Please, we're so close. Like this video if you think we can make it all the way to round 30 and win. Here we go, wave 30. This is the final round. Boss toilet 2.0. Where is he? Oh, crap. He has a giant jetpack toilet with two lasers, too. I'll have to sell my towers now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I think we lost. No, no, no. Come on. We're not going to make it. Oh, no. No. We're so close. Dang it. Oh. I was pretty upset about that loss, but with those newfound coins I got, I decided to try my luck and open a new unit. No, camera woman! I did some trading to see if anyone would be kind enough to give us some good units, and then this happened. Oh my gosh, guys. I just traded with this guy, and he gave me a purple. Oh my god, the Easter speaker, man. I don't know what he does, but he's purple, so he's gotta be good. I'm pretty confident I can beat medium with this unit. I don't have enough starting money to use the new unit, so I'm not to use the cameraman. I waited until I got enough money to use the Easter speaker, man. I lost a couple lives, but it's all good. Here we go, here we go. Easter speaker, man. Oh my god. It's so OP. It's shooting out eggs, and it has a knife. Oh my god, it's so good. What the heck? That's okay, we're gonna let two toilets escape for the cost of me upgrading the Easter man. Oh, he has bunny ears now. We're just gonna use Easter speaker man. There's nothing else to use here. It's so good. How much does it cost to upgrade the third time? $1,600. That's gonna be a while. We're gonna upgrade. Here we go. Oh my god, I can upgrade again. How many levels does it have? The range is just enormous. Oh my god, we have enough to upgrade again. Let's do it. Max level, level four. The range is like half of the map. Vacuum toilets. They're getting past now. This is where things get tough. Or does it? It's just too good. Another upgrade. The eggs are flying everywhere. The toilets are crashing. This is just too easy. And I have auto skip on the whole time. I'm gonna put a cameraman there just in case. There's a parasite that'll take over one of my towers. I don't want that to happen. He'll be my sacrifice. <laughs> oh my god, they can't even make it past it. Oh, here comes the vacuums. Those guys are tough. Or not. Wow. Wave 30 has started. It's just too easy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wake up, toilets. 
We're shredding it. Wow, that was the easiest medium mode I have ever played. Let's go buy some new towers. Two camera women in a row is insane. Well, time to grind some more. We always start off really weak, but once we get that Easter tower, we are set. There we go. Boss Toilet 2.0. He's too easy. All right, we finally have enough. We have 1,000 coins. We're gonna spend all of them to summon 10 units. And that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What was that? I decided to sell my units to get two more chances to get a good unit. And then this happened. Oh, oh my God. 1% chance. A minigun camera woman. Here we go. Now we're actually cooking. I am no longer a noob. Holy. We're gonna go into hard mode now. We gotta try hard mode. Oh my god, that attack speed is insane. 400, 400. Level 3. This range is huge. I can upgrade her again. Oh my god, the damage is absurd. This thing is OP. There's another upgrade? Level 5? She has two weapons now. I was honestly kind of scared of hard mode. I was thinking I wouldn't be able to take it, but with this unit, I am set. It's just soloing everything. The range. This is the biggest I've ever seen. What is that? Multi-claw jetpack toilet. Oh my god. He looks so scary. Honestly, I lied. He didn't look scary. Because we're just too good. We are OP. Upgrading that. We're just going to upgrade everything. There's something on fire. What is that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Rocket toilet. Why is he so big? We're doing actually amazing for auto skip. All right, there's all my units down. Hopefully this will be enough to win. What are those? Dual claw TV toilets. They have TVs themselves now. They're using their our own technology against us. They're getting a little too far in my opinion. He's disabling my turret. Oh no. I have to take care of that. Come on. Yes. Oh my god, this is so hard. I need to turn off auto skip. What is this? Bala Clava Spider Toilet? This looks like a monstrosity. This it, this would show up in my nightmares. Oh gosh, okay. I'd have to start selling some stuff. No, no, no. Please, 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 please. No! Oh crap. No! I opened some units and did a little bit of trading. And then I tried my luck again by trying to beat hard mode. We are absolutely chilling right now. We have two fully maxed minigun camera womans. We are so chilling. Our strat is just to use all of the minigun camera womans. No other tower needed. Just the legendary. The boss toilets, they think they can beat me. You guys are easy mode. This is hard mode. You will fall to the camera woman. God, these things shred. I guess you don't really need diversity in towers if one tower is just better than the other. I'll have all 15 towers completely maxed out within the next couple of seconds. We just gotta ride to wave 50. Oh no. We have enough damage, right? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we do not even have enough. No, we're close. It's over. The minigun did not work. This was worse than the last run. We're not strong enough for hard yet. Oh, we got so close. <sighs> Someone joined my game right before I chose the map when I was AFK. Someone joined our lobby. I don't know if I can do legendary, man, but we'll try. Hopefully you're goaded enough to carry me. What is this unit? Ninja cameraman. He's holding two plungers. This player had a lot of units that I've never seen ever in my life. What is that? Speaker woman's rose farm? Why is she so small? This is like generate money or something? Extra income. 100, I see. Already a boss toilet? Wave 6? Nightmare mode's way too insane. What do we even do? A mutant toilet? There's, we're losing this so fast. All you're doing is farming money. Uh, there's no way we can beat this. What the heck is that? Ohio cameraman? Oh, wait, I have that. I don't have enough power to stop this thing. Come on. Yes! We were able to hold off a little bit, but Nightmare eventually caught up to us. Guys, we don't have enough damage. We lost it. How much damage is that? What the? 
Why do you place it down too late? No, half our health's gone. What even is that? Toxic Upgrade Titan Cameraman. What? Why would he wait to place that down now? My tower just keeps getting disabled. Oh, um, we just lost. This thing's going all the way through. We have no no health for this. I knew we shouldn't have chose Nightmare Mode. 5,000 to upgrade? What the heck? Dang. Yes, he's choosing hard mode. We can actually beat this one. My teammate farmed for some money while I held the front lines. Oh my god, this thing is insane. Like, what the heck is this? Is Iron Man? God dang. What is this? This is a different one. Saw upgrade Titan Cameraman. Dude, he just has a whole army of these things. What? What is this stuff? He just bought his level 5 one straight up? How do you do that? Oh, he sold both of them. Oh my god. Yeah, we are set. Nothing's stopping us now. I'll see you at wave 50 where the boss is. Here we go. This is the last round. Round 50 for hard mode. I have $42,000 that I can't spend. Will we be able to do it? I think we are. This guy is so good. Look at his huge titans. There it is. Boss Toilet 3.0. There's just so much green gas everywhere. Getting annihilated. 50% health. He's dead. He's dead. Let's go. Let's freaking go. And the first winner to get sent in a unit is Danilo JC425. And they're going to be getting the toxic upgrade Titan cameraman. Let's go to the toilet lab. I'm not too strong to handle hard just yet, so I'm gonna stick to medium at the moment. In my previous Noob the Pro video, we stopped when we got the legendary minigun camera woman. This time, I will get the upgraded Titan Cinema Man. I don't care how long it takes me. I was grinding through a bunch of medium games so I can finally summon one mythic crate. Summon one, wow, that's crazy. Oh, laser gun cameraman, a legendary, but that doesn't satisfy me. What I really want is a mythic or a godly. So what I'm gonna do is grind for 10,800 coins so we can summon 10 at once. All right, let's try out this new laser cameraman. I have enough money. Oh, no, 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 no. I had to start with the minigun camera woman until I had enough money. So close, $5, there we go. Laser gun, go. What? What is this? I have enough to upgrade him, let's see. Nah, this guy is so cool. Max level cameraman. He shreds these toilets. Not much happened in this round, so I bought a bunch of laser cameramen to see what would happen. Wow, look at the health. That is insane. What? These things are crazy. Here he comes, wave 30. Let's see how fast he goes down. Oh my god. We could probably do hard mode with these laser, man. All right, let's try it out. All right, we'll start with the minigun camera woman, and then we'll, once we get enough, we're switching to the laser gun. There we go. Boom, laser man. Come on, give me the upgrade. I need the damage. And boom, there's the upgrade. We were struggling a bit with those spiders. And I got that upgrade. And he just got melted. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Wait, how, how did it... How did the laser man survive, but the camera woman got knocked out from that? Not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think the lasers are gonna make me be hard mode. Maybe I spoke too soon? Nah, I'm chilling. I got auto skip on too. Look at that. That's so satisfying to watch. And the airplane toilet. Oh my God, didn't even make the turn. Okay, we should be chilling. We should be chilling. He gets a little far, but I still have all the lasers. I have the camera woman. They have big range. If we're comparing the two legendaries that I have, the mini camera woman and the laser gun cameraman, the cameraman beats the camera woman by miles. This thing has so much DPS. It doesn't even get stunned by explosion toilets. I don't know, dude. It's like it. It's so good. What are those? Flying rocket launcher toilet? Don't even get anywhere. We're just too strong. I don't even know what he does. All 15 towers are placed. All 15 towers are completely upgraded. All I have to do is sit and wait. There's the Palaclava spider toilet. Last round, he got it all the way around over here. But now, he doesn't even make the turn. UFO toilet, whoa, he looks sick. Oh my god, he's shooting lasers. Laser and laser violence. But mine are just better. Wave 50, oh my gosh, this is it, this is it. Hard mode, wave 50 versus my 15 laser cameramen. Here he is, here he is. All right, just the boss in the in the lasers. Oh my goodness! Absolutely obliterated. Let's go! First time beating hard mode. Now I know I can do it. We're gonna grind out the coins and we're gonna open up so many boxes for mythic crates. All right, I have just enough cash to summon ten mythic units. Let's hope we get something good. Here we go. I'm so nervous.
Oh my god, really? I decided to get double coins and VIP so I can get more money to buy a bunch of mythic crates. And we're also gonna get the scientist mech. All right, with our newfound units, let's try out nightmare mode. We might be able to do it. Let's try the green laser cameraman real quick. Oh my gosh, he's really similar to the laser gun cameraman. How much does it cost to upgrade? 250? All right. This just seems like a better version of the laser gun cameraman. I'm looking at the stats here. Does more damage, has more range, has more DPS, and it costs less too. This is absurd. Looks like some toys are getting away, but no need to fret. I have a unit to summon. There we go. You in toilet already? Oh gosh, I gotta turn off auto skip. Let's see if two of them will work. There we go, we're doing good now. Should I upgrade the green laser cameraman or should I buy a scientist mech? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm gonna buy a scientist mech. I'm, I'm too curious to see what it does. Oh my God, he's huge. Whoa. This thing is insane, what the? How much does it cost to upgrade? 4,500. Holy crap. I'm gonna buy the laser cameraman car as well just to see what it does. Oh my god, it attacks so fast. I don't see any lasers coming in from it though. What makes it a laser cameraman? Dual blade toilet, this is new. He looks like a prisoner. Hopefully we'll be able to hold off until we can upgrade the scientist mech. I'll see you then. I just realized that the scientist mech is in a flying toilet. We're using toilets against them. Almost there. There we go. Oh my god, the next upgrade is $12,000. Giant blind toilet. Why does he have to be blind? <laughs> I'm doing so well for night mode this is amazing boss toilet 2.0 what the heck's going on what was that a forklift toilet he was carrying the other boss toilet oh gosh i'm gonna buy another scientist mech real quick turn off auto skip turn off auto skip what are you doing oh no 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 this is not good do that real quick stop the toilets from moving maybe we should be good so these he's gonna come back around the green lasers here Perfect. Mutant assassin toilet. He looks so mad. What's his ability? Will we be able to see it? I guess not. Uh, we're doing too much damage. Oh my god, wait, he's going after my tower. What the heck? What was gonna happen if he got to my tower? Buzzsaw? Wait, 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 wait. Buzzsaw assassin toilet? How is there another new toilet already? <laughs> oh my god, he has like a troll face. <laughs> what is that face? No, oh no, the explosions. There's so many. Turn off auto skip. Upgrade the laser. Another one. Another scientist mech. Let's try and save up for $12,000 this time. Hopefully, we can afford it. Because if we do, this scientist mech will be unstoppable. Kill them faster. Yes! There it is! The damage is too much now. Look how fast he's gonna die. Help! Oh my god, I can't even see his health bar, but I know it's dead. Wow. Toxic skull toilet. Welder toilet. What do these things even do? He just picked up a toilet. And that guy picked up another toilet. There's like a... What the heck is this? <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing. He's just chilling, like vomiting the whole time. That's disgusting. We might be able to just keep auto skip on for a while now. Look at that. They're just getting demolished. <laughs> They move so weirdly. So many new toilets in nightmare mode that come out every single round. Laser scientist toilets? You have reached your limit placing for green laser man? Wait, what? I don't have a certain amount down? There's a second max level scientist mech. Beret rocket launcher toilet? We just demolished a boss toilet 4.0 and right behind it is something even harder that I've never seen. It has five rocket launchers. Actually, no, it has, it has two rocket launcher things up top too. It launches so many. Oh my god, I gotta turn auto skip off. What am I doing? There's way too many toilets coming out right now. Military rocket launcher, laser scientist, dual rocket launcher, giant blind toilets, TV dual claw toilets. What do we do against this? I can upgrade. If I'm really close to upgrading another scientist mech. If we can do that, I feel like we just win the game. We're really close, round 42. Okay, man. We got one. We're so close. Where is it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is. Toxic mutant toilet? He looks like Doc Ock, dude. What the? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is he doing? What does that do? No matter. Goodbye. You were too weak for my scientist mechs. Here it is. Wave 50. The last wave. And I'm just about to upgrade the scientist mech again. Giant smooth toilet. Why is he... S oh, I get it. I was going to say, why is he smooth? Because he's like Michael Jackson. And I demolished him so fast. He's not even going to make the turn. Wow. Holy crap. That's my first nightmare. 1,200 coins? Come on, guys. Like and subscribe for that one, dude. Beating nightmare mode first try. 
absolutely amazing. Well, we still have to grind some more until we get a godly unit. I'll see you then. While I was grinding for some coins, I decided to check out the shop to see what I can get with some diamonds. I have so many diamonds. I feel like I can get something. I can get a Titan present, man. Is that good? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh my gosh. I just got, I just got a godly unit. That's my first godly unit. This doesn't count towards me ending the video. I have to unbox a godly unit. But this will definitely help me get more coins. Let's test them out. Nightmare mode, here we come. I started with the green laser man and then waited till I got $1,000 to use the godly unit. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Let's freaking go, dude. 5,000 to upgrade. Woo! He's not really doing that much damage. Oh no, he doesn't have the range. But he does. Wait, the scientist toilet is like better. The titan present man is doing nothing. Upgrade the Titan. Oh my god, there we go, there we go. Now he's starting to do stuff. What? 40,000 for the next upgrade? I'll never reach that in my life. I just have to stick to the scientist mechs. I got pretty far with these units, but then it just overwhelmed me, and I lost around round 40. No, dude. Crap. Honestly, I'm super surprised that this godly unit is worse than my scientist mech. It's kind of sad, but hey, we'll just keep using the scientist mech until we get a really good godly unit. Finally have enough coins to try again to summon 10 mythic units. Mythic crate, here we come. And... Oh, granted just a little bit, so now we're gonna summon another 10. Let's see if we get any good units. Wow, two mythics. So I decided I needed a money generating unit, but I didn't have enough diamonds for it. So I decided to just buy a DJ speaker man and then grind some more. All right, I got the Maze Camera Woman and the DJ speaker man out here. Round 11, let's upgrade the speaker man and the Maze Camera Woman. We're gonna go crazy. Oh, and it does damage boost, okay. So it's gonna buff my Mace Camera Woman by a lot. Here we go, big upgrade for our Mythic unit. Boom, $4,000, we're just about to get it. There it is. Doing a really good amount of damage, 3.5K damage, huge range, it has two rings. Uh, I guess it has two attacks. And then we're gonna save up 7,000 to get another upgrade. Here we go, we're almost there. No, 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 he just saved up my unit. He's put to sleep, I can't upgrade him. Yes, yes, there we go, there we go. Three rings now, and it shoots a laser. Oh, I see, it's slowing the toilets down by a lot. Okay, this is a pretty nice unit. The range is ginormous. And the damage boost by the DJ Speaker Man is a nice touch. I got a little too ahead of myself, and I slowly got ran over by these giant toilets all across the track. I just didn't have enough defense for it. And here comes a great montage of me losing my mind trying to get the godly unit. Yet again, we got the money. Let's activate that luck boost. This time we're guaranteed a godly. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Summon 10 with extra luck. Oh my god! Here we go. Summon 10. Two legendaries. Oh, how long is this going to take? I am gonna get a godly. I swear it to you. I swear I'll get a godly. Alright. Summon. No, I just used my. Oh my god, I summoned the wrong crate. Oh my god. This time I won't mess up. No! Here we go. Oh, a mythic! Oh, but still not a godly. Look, boost, please. A godly unit is gonna be here. Summon 10, I barely just have enough. Boom! Legendary and two mythics. I mean, not horrible, but not what I want. Here we go. Legendary, two mythics. Still not what I want. Please. Uh. Okay, so we do reverse psychology saying we're not gonna get anything good, but we actually do. <sighs> Didn't work. This is the time for me to open all the units that will give me good stuff. Summon 10. Holy. Shall I open up 10 crates? Luck boost. Activate. Open up 10. Oh, mythic. What we got today? Summon 10, perhaps? Oh my god. I'm gonna open up 10 units. Mythic. Crate. Boom. <gasps> Man. Walking up to the store, summon units. Once a day, I'm gonna summon, summon units. And summon! I was really down on my luck, and I was thinking it was gonna take 10 years for me to get a godly unit. Until this happened. And then we go heal Mr. Koi, summon 10. It's not a godly yet. Oh! Oh! I got a godly! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually got the upgrade Titan Cinema Man. I'm gonna put him right next to my Santa guy. And yes, while I was grinding, I did decide to pick up the Santa TV man since everyone was commenting for me to get it. I was going to Toilet City. Let's see how easy it's gonna be with Nightmare Mode. The golly unit is gonna be too OP. Of course, Wave 1 at the start off with the green laser man. And the Cinema Man is so expensive. He's $3,000. So we're gonna have to farm up using the Santa TV man. So the play is to save up for $700 to buy the Clock Spider so he'll hold off all the toilets until we can farm enough to get the upgrade Titan Cinema Man. 
boom. Fox Spider annihilated those toilets, as it usually does in the early game. But now, Santa Man's down, and I'm gonna farm until the godly Titan Cinema Man comes out. All right, I've upgraded him five times. I'm gonna save it for $3,000 now. We're close, we're 400 off. Let's hope the clock spare can hold it off for this long. There we go. The Titan upgraded Cinema Man. We'll put him right here. Oh my gosh, he is huge. What does he do now? I got upgrade for $3,000. He gets 2,000 damage right now. If I upgrade him, it's 1.2k more damage. Gets more range. And his cooldown is way faster. And I'm guessing later down the line, he gets a stun ability. Here, I'll upgrade him. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's like antennas in his head. And whoa. Oh my god. He's like a laser knife. It looks like he has two attacks. There's that purple one where he shoves his knife into the toilet. And then that red aura that he has. Seems like an AoE attack. Wait, he can go to... S I didn't know he can get disabled. Oh. That's actually kind of scary. Let me farm a bit more. His upgrades aren't that expensive. I'm actually surprised. That upgrade the clock spider here. You just got... They're getting past my Titan, man. Here we go. Another upgrade. Oh, what the heck? He has another TV on his shoulder right here. Upgrade the clock spider again. How many upgrades does the Titan Cinema Man have? Can we go max out one of our Santa TV Man? We'll get a maximum efficiency and currency, and we'll have enough money to buy 10 upgrade Titan Cinema Man. No, I need to upgrade you. Wake up! Boom! Now he has another TV on his left shoulder. Oh no, that's his right shoulder. What am I talking about? And then his next upgrade is $8,000. When does he get the stun? I want to see that. How many upgrades can there be? The most I've seen is the Santa Man. He has like, yeah, he has eight levels. Oh! He's an Iron Man, like, core laser coming from his chest. Oh, yeah, this is where the damage ramps up. We're gonna get our max three standard TV man all the way up to level eight. We'll get $6,000 per round. We're gonna be farming like crazy. There we go, fully maxed Santas. Now we just gotta wait and upgrade the Titan Man to level five. If he can wake up, like, why is he asleep for so long? It took him long enough. Oh my gosh. I guess I shouldn't put him right here. But he, has, he doesn't really have that much range. So he just gets put to sleep a lot by these toilets. Another upgrade. Whoa, he has like a jetpack behind him. And then the next upgrade is $15,000. And that's where the stun time comes into play. There we go. He still has another upgrade. He's getting way more menacing every time I put money into him to get an upgrade. $20,000? Where does the stun come in? Is it this black circle right here? Oh, it is. He just he couldn't move there, that rocket toilet. Upgrade again. Max level. Titan Cinema level 8. He is insane. The range is huge. There's so many different rings he has. He has one, two, three, four different rings. I gotta, I gotta keep buying them. Another one. Come on out. We'll have a whole army of these giant titans. There we go. We got two of them working pretty well right now. Let's see if they can take on the whole nightmare mode. They're getting shredded pretty crazy right now. And with auto skip on as well. God, the titan man's aura is just destroying them. They can't handle his aura. He's too sigma for them. Come on, I need a little bit more money. Boom! Two maxed out titan speaker men. They are, I mean, cinema men. But two is not enough. A third is coming into play. I'm gonna sell these units. We're gonna see how how well they can take the nightmare mode. The only thing that's helping us is the Santa TV men with the income per round, and the rest is all up to the upgrade Titan Cinema man. The damage I can't handle it. The third fully upgraded Titan. Wave 48 auto scope is on. There is really nothing that can stop us. These godly units are just way too good. Wait, 50, I gotta sell my, my TV men. I gotta sell my Santas for maximum money. Come on, giant smooth criminal toilet. Look, I'm not even touching him and it's already like a quarter HP done. Here we go. You can't do anything. The destruction. It's too much for him to handle. And down he goes. Now, honestly, I was expecting to win pretty easily in nightmare mode, but now I'm gonna do something that I have never done before. Here we go. Endless mode. I'm kind of scared. I've never been to Toilet Fortress before. Oh my god. This is so menacing. Cameraman Temple. There's a dude. There's people here. Wait, lock in, lock in. They're about to spawn. All right, we'll stick to our normal strategy. 
Green Ledger Man. What a perfect starting unit. Why is there a squid here? It's no place for an animal that needs water. There's lava everywhere. Or is that Fanta? Who knows? Oh, I float. Let's see if my units can handle the inf- Oh, I guess they aren't able to ha handle endless mode since they will never stop coming. But we'll see how far we'll get, especially with our godly unit. It's gonna be the same strategy that I've been using before. Save it for the clock spider and then start farming heavy with the Santa TV man. Here we go. Clock spider has been placed. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm not farming. You fool. What the hell? On the boss, large glasses toilet? Why is that a boss? That was weird. Is there a boss like every 10 waves? I'm kind of scared to leave an auto skip on around like past round 50. I've never been past wave 50 before. It's never, I've only done nightmare mode as the highest difficulty. So we'll see how crazy it scales after round 50 in endless mode. All right, I'll upgrade him to around level seven. Level eight's a little too expensive for me, $6,000. Probably have to put at least one level into the clock spider to hold off to the toilets for a bit. I might be able to upgrade the Santa TV man now. I'm not sure. I might have to put some money into the clock spider again. We'll see how we hold off. Mm, they have a good amount of health. Okay, it seems like I'm going to be able to upgrade him. Boom. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I was able to greet out for that money. And now we're going to be chilling for a very long time. Oh, Mutant Toilet 2.0 boss. He does have a good amount of health, actually. But it's okay. I can upgrade him and he should go down. Yep, there he goes. What are you doing? Wake up, dude. Get off of that. You gotta generate money for me. Okay, let's try and buy a scientist mech. Those guys have really good single target damage. And he doesn't really have that much range on the track, but once I upgrade him once, he'll be able to cover that. Come on, greed. Greed for the Santa. Yes. Flying buzzsaw toilet. Just in time, too. I will get all my Santa man upgrade. I'm gonna get so much money coming out of here. Next thing I'm gonna do is fully upgrade the scientist mech. And then, what are these? Large heart toilets? I've never seen these before. Must be exclusive to endless mode. Boom. Max level scientist mech. And now we're gonna do some Titan Cinema Man shenanigans. We're getting kind of far. They're getting kind of far. That's a little scary. Which toilet? Where is he? He's hiding amongst his. There he is. Oh, he's a little dude. He's so fa Oh gosh, they're getting really far. I gotta turn off auto skip. That is not good. Dude, this Titan man is freaking out. He doesn't know who to focus. He just keeps turning. Come on, take him out. Oh, please. Yes. Okay, this is getting way too risky. They're getting way farther than they did in nightmare mode. I'm not gonna lie. I've never had to turn off auto skip pre round 50 before. Honestly, my prediction is that I'm gonna lose probably before round 80 or something. This, I'm really worried that these Titan speaker men are not going to be able to hold much longer. It took me a really long time for me to fully upgrade both of these upgrade Titan cinema men. Only two of them and it's almost round 50. It's not looking too good. I don't know why the scientist mech isn't moving. I, he looks like he's glitched. He's usually supposed to follow the toilets. I'm going to sell him and rebuy him. There we go. Now he's good. Where should I put this cinema man at? Put one right here in this corner. Giant smooth toilet way 50. Here he is! Nightmare mode. We can handle this, right? They go they get really far though. This giant smooth toilet should not be over here with that much health remaining. Please, he's stunned. Ooh, 10,000 health! Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna get out. I don't have enough money. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Not what I was expecting. 5% HP. Why does he have so much health? 200,000? Come on! Upgrade him again! Another one! Please, please, it can't end here. It cannot end here. Yes! That was really, really bad. I had to reconsider my strategy. They're getting so far. Why is the beret rocket launcher toilet so far? He has too much health. And why is beret spelled like that? It's so weird. Please take him down! Wait, what the heck? What is he doing here? Give me that money. Oh my god, not again. Oh my god, he's right here, he's right here. I gotta lock in. Come on. No. No way. I'm gonna die. Really? Make it... What? Well, I did way worse than I thought I was gonna do. All right, and here is the second person to get a unit. This one is going to be getting a future large clock man. And the winner's name is Huggy2 the Wuggy. All right, let's head over to Endless Mode. 
So it says rank up to unlock perks for endless mode. I've already played a little bit as you've seen in my previous videos, but not that much. I've not gone past like around 54 or something. So I'm rankless. I need to get XP to get to toilet noob level one. And then there's up to level 10, toilet god. I do have seven endless XP boosts. So let me activate one of those. Lasts for two hours. Let's grind it out. Really easy strat. Just gonna place all my Santa TV men down. I might lose a couple lives, but that's okay. We're just gonna chill. We're gonna get as much money as we can and I'll pay off way later on look they're not facing each other they're mad oh they've had an argument or something santa beef but we have beef with the toilets and then i'll place down maybe a mewing if i get enough mewing man commits the one shot Ooh. oh now he's super mad because i upgraded this guy instead of this one i'd be pretty mad too if i were you i'm curious to see what is like the best endless mode out in toilet tower defense Cause I'm pretty sure this is not the best loadout right now. Probably not bad, but it's also not good. I feel like you need a good starting unit, probably a good AOE unit, obviously the farming unit, and then probably like late game units for crazy DPS. I don't know. I don't really know what fills a good team composition for this. Here comes the boss, large glasses toilet. Let me upgrade the Mewing Man real quick. Let's get one upgrade in there and upgrade the rest into our cash Santas. Perfect, there we go. He should be able to handle it pretty well. Let's get a green laser man in here too. Ooh, huge Mewing Man upgrade. It's got mute so hard my money 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 if i am ever in trouble and i get past my mewing tv man and green laser man i can just plop the future large clock man down and use his ability immediately and that should wipe out a lot of units not units a lot of toilets i wonder how long the mewing tv man can solo he seems pretty dang strong not gonna lie oh gosh the mewing toilet 2.0 is out here hold on i gotta upgrade the mewing man first just to make sure i don't lose here and i'll fully max out the third santa boom one two and three why do you stop moving what are they doing did the mewing tv man stun them or something it doesn't say that in the stats it might hide the stats like it does with the green laser man it doesn't say it. the green laser man doesn't say anything about slowing stuff down but the mewing tv man also doesn't say anything about slowing stuff down so maybe there's a hidden stat in here all right we'll just save up our money we're chilling i'm pretty close to the astro upgrade titan cameraman place them probably like around here or something huge Level six, max upgrade Astro Cameraman. Whoa, that attack's sick. Now I'll place down one future large clock man for the ability, and the rest will go into the Astro Upgrade Titan Cameraman. The late game is just so good. Glitch toilet. Come on, Glitch, you ain't getting far. You're a coward. There he is. Once he got out and revealed himself behind those toilets, he got melted. There we go, round 50. Let's go. Where is my Astro? Upgrade him. Giant smooth toilet. There he is. And if they somehow get really far, I still have my lightning time stop ability. Okay, we're chilling. And we're already at round 52. While the giant toilet is still out, the smooth toilet. Auto skip is so crazy. I might have to turn it down a bit, to be honest. Let's turn it off just to be safe. There goes the giant smooth toilet. My single target damage is starting to fall off. And we'll sell the green laser, man. We don't need him anymore. I didn't even use him, to be honest. I could totally replace him with a different unit. I just put all my money into the Astros to see how far they would get me in endless mode. And I had auto skip off just in case. Oh, I totally forgot to upgrade this one. Dang. I was wondering why there was a yellow laser amongst all these blue ones. It's because this guy is not fully maxed yet. Whoa. Never... This is the farthest I've ever gotten. I've never seen frost toilets. That is cool. Frost skeleton toilet? Whoa, this is crazy. He has like horns on his head and a giant ice hammer. This thing is crazy insane. Boom, that was easy. Skip round 61. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turkey toilets? What? What do these things do? Whoa. Phantom toilets? The heck? They're like ghosts? They're gonna phantom tax me. No, don't do it to my units, please, please. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> what? They're making a tower out of themselves? Oh my god. This is this is just a complete mess. What am I looking at? It's like a scorpion. Oh, it's glitching out. Oh my god. There's another giant smooth toilet, but now it's acting as like a normal toilet. No longer is it a giant boss. And then we, now we got military rockets coming through. I've placed down all 15 units. I can't place down any more unless I sell something. I might sell some Santa TV men because my money's getting a little crazy. Uh, maybe this viewing TV man back here won't do much. I might sell him. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sell him and I'll buy a future large clock man. I hit round 70. We'll see what boss that is. This is such a good run. This is the far as I've ever been in an endless run. Let's see how much longer I can hold off. Giant turkey toilet. That doesn't sound that crazy. We'll make some so OP. What is that? What is this laser? Whoa. He has like a giant laser eye that takes out all of my turrets. There's the laser. Oh, they're all gone. Whoa, that's a cool move. Unfortunately, there's nothing for you to do. You die. 
<laughs> Here it is, round 80. This is so crazy. Dual cargo toilet, there's the boss. So while this cargo toilet is getting destroyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's know what your favorite unit build is in endless mode, and I'll like the best one. Here it is, here it is, here it is. He's dying, I don't even see him, he's just in the horde. Round 81, how much farther can we get? Oh, here comes the, the welder shenanigans again. What the heck? Nah, this thing is ridiculous, dude. There's so many lasers coming across my screen. The turkey cyborgs. Please chill. Giant turkey toilets. I honestly can't believe that we have made it all the way to wave 90. This is so good. This is my really like true first attempt in this video, at least. I've attempted it a couple of like three times, I think, in my previous videos, but not really. What the heck is this? Wait, broken heart toilet? Why is he in like a giant mech? And he has a crown. This is royalty. Honestly, even if we do beat this guy, I have my doubts about getting the way to wave 100. Here, let me just three time. I haven't used it at all this whole time. I've been saving it. Might as well just use it now. I'll take you on myself. Why is this not working? Man, I wish I was my own unit in toilet tower defense. Then I'd be able to defeat the broken heart toilet. There it is, 3%. He's so close, almost under a million HP. He's under it, boom, and he's dead. Let's go, round 91. But he got really far down the track. We're not gonna survive much longer. Um, Are we really about to lag out just like in the last? There's no way we just lagged out. We really made it all the way. That'd be such a waste of XP. No way! Over an hour worth of time, just wasted. I did some grinding so I can make up for that lost XP we just did, and look what just happened. There we go, we made it just enough XP, we have hit rank 1 and we're halfway to rank 2. What did we get though? One extra placement slot in Endless? What does that mean exactly? I got like an extra unit to place down? Alright, let's keep on grinding. The same stuff, where is the extra- oh yeah, it is extra placement. 16 instead of 15. I was playing this to get some insane XP, but at the very end, right before I died, there was some crazy thing that happened to me. Oh my gosh, but it's actually super tense. Please, 10 seconds! Just hold for 10! Just hold for 10! 5! 4! Three, two, one, hit it. Oh, what? No way. Dang. That was, oh my God. A millisecond too late. If it was any bit sooner, I would have had it. That was insanity. Okay, so apparently the speaker repair drone is one of the best healing units into the game. So let's go over to the marketplace and see if there's anything we can get from it. Oh, there it is. Speaker repair drone. One in the stock. Oh my gosh, let's go. Up. No, let me get it. I can't buy it. Why? 2.6k gems. I have that. I have 5k. I might have to switch servers to try getting this. There it is. I'll buy it from this one. Finally. Thank you. And there we go. Let me take off the streamer camera man and put in the speaker repair drone. But before we head in real quick, let's switch up the unit. Let's take out that future large clock man and put in our boy Hyper Upgrade Titan Speaker Man. Shout out to Loggy Hindeme for sending me the Hyper after I sent it back to him when I made the I Used Your Units video. Now let's obliterate Endless Mode. Let's activate another Endless XP boost and keep it going. Queso, what are you doing here? What the? There we go, we've gotten all of our TV men upgraded. We got our Hyper Upgrade Titan Speaker Man chilling. He's just hit level 4. He's doing great. I'm not sure if I'll use some Astros. I might put it in there. I might put an Astro upgrade Titan Cameraman in there for some slowing, but so far the Hyper is doing all the work. And we got our Mewing TV man for the early game, and he has good stuns. So we are doing fantastic. I guess I'll see you when I fully upgrade the Hyper at $35,000. You know, what's funny about that is that after I said that, like, 10 seconds later, I got enough money to upgrade him. There he goes. Let's try and put in an Astro over here as well. Boom, put him in for that slowing effect. We fully upgrade that Astro boy. Astro slowing. He does 60% slowing, and he does an AoE explosion radius, which is really good support for my Hyper. And let me put in the ultimate support tower, the speaker repair drone, so they don't get stunned. Fully upgrade that quick speaker repair drone, and let's get the Hyper upgrade as well. Let me get that final upgrade. Let's go to Hyper Boys. The late game units. What can get better than this? Tell me. He is OP. This is the strength. Look at this beautiful setup. The three goats. The Hyper Squad. And the Astro. And you can't forget 
my little boy right here, speaker repair drone, and the Sigma himself, Dirk. Just kidding. It's the Mewing TV, man. Give it up for him. W in the comments. Holy. This is going to be a W game. We're going to get past round 70, round 80. We're going to get past round 1000. Has anyone ever done that before? I don't think so, but I'm going to do it right here, right now. Here it is, boys. Wave 100. They're spamming all these vacuum toilets. The mutant assassin toilets. What else are they going to bring out for us? I might have to... Oh, DJ Toilet 2.0. Yo, Wave 100 looking crazy. What is that giant cannon he's got? Nah, he's got a crazy arsenal, though. But my units are way too strong. I might sell a Mewing Toilet. I mean, a Mewing TV man to put down another Hyper. But so far, we are actually straight up chilling. Yeah, try and stun my units all you like. I got two DJ. I mean, I got two speaker repair drones ready to unstun them at a moment's notice. Yeah, come on. Stab them. Get over there. Do your work. Yeah. Again. Look at that. You guys wasting your time trying to stun my units, man. L Toilets. Comment LDJ Toilet 2.0 in the comments if you've made it this far into the video. Let's go. Come on. The only thing left is that DJ Toilet boss. He's going to die for sure. He can't make it that far, right? He's really tanky, though. 114 million HP. He's at 50% HP. He's getting kind of far. I, I'm confident that we win this. And there it is. The DJ Toilet 2.0 goes down wave 100 it has been completed now we're on wave 101 we are completely going crazy these quad rocket mutants i don't think i've seen these before they look really ugly i don't like their like huge sigma faces you guys definitely gotta like comment and subscribe for me being wave 100 this early on i am so good let's go all right since we beat wave 100 i'm just gonna keep auto skip on and we're gonna see how far we can last with that there we go, we go out with a bang, but we got almost 2.5 coins, and we got 1.3k XP. And, ooh, level 3, almost level 4, that was insane, they give you so much XP making it around 100. Looks like the next rank is pretty good, it's a golden rank, the Plunger Professional. Alright, I gotta grind for that. And I'm almost to rank 5, I get extra money, we gotta keep going. My ultimate goal is to beat Wave 100 with auto skip on the whole time. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna find out. Alright, I never bought an exclusive Injured Titan crate let's just try it let's see what it looks like open that up oh -hoo -hoo. boom hyper well it's huge oh my god the suspense saw upgrade titan cameraman i just wasted 500 diamonds on that let's just get straight into the toilet fortress nonsense yo here we go we got about 1.5k xp is that enough for me to advance to toilet and let's rank number five holy crap guys it's Kanye West Roblox. I didn't know he played Toy Tower Defense. Oh my gosh. Huh? No way, dude. Seriously? 20 XP off. They are trolling me out of my mind. Uh, I grinded for one more game to finally reach rank 5 of the Toilet Endless mode. Alright, grinded. I grinded. And look at the rank. I got extra money at Toilet Fighter rank. It's the perk, extra money. Let's put that on. I'm already halfway through to hitting rank 10, the Toilet God rank. Let's keep on going. I see it right here. The ability's right next to my Mewing Man. Extra money, give $100 current wave once. So what if I just hit it right now? Boom, instant at 100 money. I can place another Santa down. Two Santa TV men down at wave one. Honestly, the ability is pretty weak in terms of the grand scope of things, but in the early game, that thing is really nice to have. It gets your Santa TV men flowing really early, way earlier than usual. And I kept auto skip on and we ended up dying around wave 73. Okay, I heard that the Titan Clockman is super OP and it looks like it's pretty cheap right here. 998 gems. Well, I got over a thousand. Oh, 800. That's even better. What the heck? I'm buying that. All right, with our newfound unit, let's try out the Titan Clockman. And also, I subbed out the Mewing TV Man, and I'm gonna try the Green Laser Cameraman. Alright, the strat is place a Santa TV Man down. Start the wave. Activate that extra money. Santa, another one. Once you get another Santa going down, we'll get the Green Laser Man flowing, and we will be chilling. Here, let's do this. Put a hyper down, and then we'll put the Titan right there. Boom! Wait, he has a time stop ability as well. This one's very similar to the future large clock man. I'm guessing it doesn't deal damage. Let me let me test it out. Yeah, it just freezes time, but it doesn't deal damage. This guy's trying to move, but he can't upgrade him. Boom! Oh, 
There it is. He gets a little gun. Next upgrade, he gets 5,000 damage and even more range. That's pretty good. Give him that next upgrade. Boom, he's got some armor plating on his shoulders. And then we keep, if we keep going, it's $6,000. Another plus 5,000 damage and plus 5 range. What the heck? Okay, so if I level him up one more time, he loses 2,500 damage. The only thing he gets is more range. Why would I do that? Whoa, look at that effect. The next upgrade is 20,000. That's a huge jump. But it gives him plus 10,000 damage and more, like huge range. This is a weird tower. All right, here it is. I believe this is the final upgrade. I don't know how this can get even more expensive. Oh, there is a final upgrade. And he gets a huge, like... What is this? Like a bunch of saws floating around him and a huge like it's like a throne almost on his back. This is crazy. Dang. That's some good damage. I'm guessing he does like splash AoE damage. Okay, so it's when they get into the other rings is when they start dealing damage to the other toilets. Well, I guess I gotta wait until I get 10k more dollars to finally upgrade the hyper speaker man to level 5. I'll see you then. There we go. Finally! Fully maxed! Boom! The hyper is going crazy. So far, not too impressed with the Titan Clockman's like damage capabilities. I really like his design. He looks so cool. And his time slip ability is pretty nice. But other than that, he doesn't really do that much damage. I don't know. I, I like the hypers more. Wait, what's the cooldown on the time stop? That's very important to know. 300. It's the same as the future large Clockman. Me turning off auto skip pre wave 60 is not looking good to be honest. I'm doing I did way better when I just used the Hyper Titan and it had the announcer speakerman buff it and really i die here wave 56 this is sad nah i don't like this titan clock man can i get a refund on this and there it is though i was able to make it all the way to rank six five percent more coins on endless mode dude these buffs are not what i want but it looks like level seven camera leader i get a slot on the hot bar in endless mode that means i get an extra slot down here so i can bring in six units instead of five okay yeah i really gotta grind for this all right i just grinded absolutely like crazy and look what we just got guys rank number seven what does it give us camera leader one extra placement slot and an extra slot on the hot bar in endless mode so now we have six units to place instead of five this is gonna be legendary what i'm going to have to place down is the dj speaker man because i don't have the op dj one so i'm gonna use this one instead for the time being now let's keep on grinding why is there sonic on this guy's shoulder that's awesome anyways let's go 10 games late there i have so many games played already yes rank number eight let's go another 10 games late there let's see if we ranked up oh my god guys rank number nine we are 20 thousand xp away from getting a hundred thousand which will be rank 10 we get 10 percent more coins in endless mode this doesn't help me in the mode at all but that's okay i'm gonna keep grinding and then eventually we'll get to the toilet god let's do it you already know the strat it's santa tv man skip auto skip that thing extra money ka-ching another santa boy and now we just wait for the money and we get that mewing tv man and then we are set for life mewing tv man successfully down taking it out damage is here but a lot but ignore the damage that is the only thing that will ever get to us time to upgrade our santas for that money and the strat here is to get that santa cash flowing really well the mewing man is a great early game unit that sets us off until like wave 20 ish 30 ish we get our astro tv man right around here and then we line up the rest with hyper upgrade TV men right across this pathway facing like this. And then what we do is get the DJs for support and also the speaker repair drones for support. And that gets us like all the way up to like round 70 ish on auto skip. But if we turn off auto skip, I don't know how far we'll get. Probably around 100 ish. Large glasses toilet has been brought out. Let me just upgrade some Santas because I'm greedy. Wait for a little bit extra cash and I'll upgrade the Mewing Man. And his Mewing Power is just so good that it gets us solo. His Mewing Power is so good that he just solos to like round 20. So good. My greed knows no boundaries. I'm just upgrading these Santas maxed out instead of upgrading the Mewing Man. I believe the boss folks don't get past us. Especially if they get stunned like that. The RNG from the Mewing TV Man, the stun, is just so good. And I don't know why they don't tell you that it stuns in the stats. Come on, devs. Same with the green laser cameraman. Why don't you tell us it slows? Oh, here's the Mutant Toilet 2.0. Let me just finally upgrade my Santas. Fully maxed out all three. And now, we can look to the Mutant TV Man to destroy the Mutant Toilet 2.0. Another upgrade. Fully maxed Mutant Man. His aura is huge. 
Look what we have, a fully upgraded Astro, upgraded Titan Cameraman. He is a boss, he is a beast. Why do we have him in our party? It's because he has that 60% toilet slowing, which is perfect around this whole track, the range. They get slowed as my hypers do a ton of damage. And speaking of hypers, here is the strat that I have. Flip them around this way, squeeze about, I think four to five hypers right here. One, two, three, four. And yes, it is five hypers. And then right after that, I immediately placed on the DJ speaker man, try to get him in a good spot. Now the Astro upgrade Titan has the damage boost these two titans have the boost as well and i can place some other hypers up here as well for the damage boost but for now we're going to focus on upgrading an astro upgrade titan speaker man boss wave 30 was nothing for us huge power boost we have enough to upgrade the hyper that is a max level hyper the damage is going to be tremendous if they even reach it to our range about to be wave 40 the wave 40 boss is not really that hard whatsoever but wave 50 comes that giant smooth toilet he comes up pretty far for us but what i'm going to focus on is upgrading the second hyper upgrade titan speaker man and he's right next to the dj speaker man which gives him a nice 15 percent damage boost if only i had the rare dj speaker man one that's worth like what 200,000 gems then i would be unstoppable there it is the glitch toilet now you gotta be careful with glitch toilets especially later on because they can sneak right past everybody and then they get that insane speed burst. And that's the toilet that actually ends up killing me the most in endless mode. Is glitch toilets that just go crazy fast past all my units. Boom. Two fully max upgrade hypers. The damage is off the charts. As you can see, they just go flying down right here. And now what we're going to do, since they get kind of far and they're going to put my units to sleep pretty soon, I'm going to buy a speaker repair drone, put it right around here, fully max that out. And we'll later put one down over here, but for now... Let's focus on another hyper. And what I'm going to do is place the one right here to fully upgrade this one right now because it has that DJ Speaker Man damage boost. So we fully utilize the damage boost from the DJ Speaker Man and we'll be chilling for quite a while with that damage. And yes, Giant Smooth Toilet has just come out. He's pretty far and I finally get that upgrade Titan. I have three Titans that have huge damage right now. Boom, the giant smooth toilet is no match for us. The hypers are OP. Let's see how long it'll take us to get to wave 60. That's when that frost skeleton comes out. Look how OP that speaker repair drone is. Whenever it gets stunned, immediately unstuns it, just like that. And it's wave 60, right as I upgrade another hyper. We have what, four? One, two, three, four. Yes, we have four of them maxed out. Wave 60, come on, spawn your boss in right now. Wave 61, and they still haven't spawned them in. There it is. The boss, Frost Skeleton Toilet. He is sick. But no matter, we will shut him down just like the rest of them. Frost Giant Toilet, whatever his name is, Frost Skeleton Toilet. What is he doing? Oh, he must have been stunned by the microwave. I mean, the Mewing TV, man. And look at the damage. He's going down fast. Wait, I fully maxed that guy out. Oh, I gotta buy this one. And there he goes, down for a count. And it's almost wave 70 now, three rounds off. And that's when it comes out with the giant, like, cyborg turkey boss that shoots that crazy laser. Wave 70, let's keep it going, guys. It's going pretty far. I might, okay, what I'm going to do is sell the Santas. They're getting way too far now. The money is gone. But what I'm going to have to do is buy a hyper, probably, like, right here. Max that out. And I'll buy a Mewing TV Man right here. To, I'll put a Mewing TV Man right around here to get that stun action in to make sure the toilets don't get past my stuff. But... I predict a glitch toilet will come past us any second now. The laser! Oh! It's stunning my units, but it's okay. I have two speaker red drone men to free them. But there's a glitch toilet! There it is! That's what my prediction was. A glitch toilet. It's full health. There's another one right here. And we die at round 76. But there it is! God rank level 10! Let's see what we get. We finally get the emergency ability one time use. Let's freaking go. And that is to send the farthest toilet back to the beginning. But all the passive perks, plus 5 placement slots, plus 1 unit slot, 20% more coins, and plus 100 starting money. The third and final person to get sent a unit from me in this video is Dash Gamers 123 And they are going to get to upgrade Mech Cameraman. Alright, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below any cool Roblox video ideas you have. A quick shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you so much for watching and good bu 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 bye